welcome to the fifth video of playlist learn freelancing in this video we're going to talk about one basic issue that's faced by every freelancer or wannabe freelancer that how to identify the skill that could let you go places in life what does that mean it means how to identify a skill that could help you in making money as a freelancer on different freelance marketplaces now i've got a very simple formula for this wait for a second well caught hey if you look at this brochure i started my freelancing career as a cad cam engineer surprise many of you know me as a graphic designer who has been doing uh, graphic designing video animation video editing i've told you about my flash on my main channel but very few know about my starting point and that was as a cad cam engineer now over a period of time i realized that CAD CAM engineering is not the only thing I should pursue as a career. So I started offering graphic designing as well. I started offering work on Macromedia freehand. Don't search for it. It's not anymore. Then there is a uh, Coral Draw, still there. And then I started working on Adobe Photoshop. And uh, over a period of time, I realized that if I can create user interface for websites, why can't I code them? So I started doing HTML. Then I learned Macromedia Flash. Don't look for it, it's gone. So I was actually playing with three fields. CAD CAM engineering, graphic designing, web development, Flash in particular. And then I realized I don't like CAD CAM engineering. Problem is I do not even like Macromedia Flash and coding websites. I mean, my disliking depends on the probability of how far I want to go in order to get things done related to these particular fields. And then I realized, why not hire people who are experts in these respective fields and let me focus on something I'm good at. And I realized I'm good at graphic designing. So if you are struggling to identify a skill set, the first thing I would request you to do is pick three skills. Start working on all three of them. Over a period of time, maybe months later, you will start gradually disliking the two skills. The one that's left as an option is the one which could probably be the skill you should pursue your career in. That's one way to identify the skill set. Another way of identifying a skill which you probably might be good at is any work that you love doing day in, day out, any work that doesn't make you feel tired when you're doing it. Any work that makes you free from the limitations of time and space, what does that mean? It means that you are literally working 24 seven on that particular skill, on that particular work. This happens because you don't get tired in doing such work. This happens because you are passionate about this work. Blessed are those whose profession and passion are same. Hint, basketball. Hint, cricketers. Hint, musician. Hint, let's say graphic designing freelancer. If you are passionate about graphic designing as a subject, you like playing with colors, you like making shapes, you like uh, creating nice designs on uh, any platform, on any software. And if down the road, that's your profession as well. Count yourself as one of the luckiest people on planet Earth. Passion and profession, if both are aligned together. My friends, if you want to become a successful freelancer, you got to identify your skill set. And you can only identify your skill set if you are hands down, if you are trying to implement different strategies on different platforms, on different niches, you'll begin to get a feel of it because you are in a groove to identify your skill set. And once that happens, just watch out for the attributes I've mentioned. The likes of you love doing what you do. The likes of you do not feel tired in executing that work. You're literally doing it 24 seven. You sleep on it and you wake up on that. That is your skill set because you are passionate about it. I hope this video will clear the confusion of identifying your skill set. See you in the next video.